Hello and welcome back to this uh, series of rigid joint calculation and modeling. We started with calculation of rigid joint with one example according to Eurocode 1993-18. And then we started to model the same uh, connection with ANSYS 2023 version R1. Here I have to thank EDR Medeso for providing the license for this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to model the joint with beams that we did also in TSTOP playlist. Here is the model that we had. The first one was rigid joints, and then we went through joints with a stiffness and we changed it to tension springs. Now I'm going to model with the other options that we have uh, with the beams which you can decide uh, from where to where to put this beam and also applying the uh, material and diameter of the bolt. Bolts as beams. And now I delete all the things that we modeled as joints. And instead, we start to model by the beams. As the mobile part, and then the reference. And this is the radius for M20. The area is uh, 245, the stress area. And accordingly, the radius will be 8.831. We need to adjust this beam length later. First, we go through automation object generator and then select reference, mobile, and the margin generate. Now here we have the beams and we can just adjust the position. Here we have 9.5 millimeter, half of the thickness of the flange and also five millimeter for the uh, just half of the knot. So it will be 126. Also, the other side, I add 5 millimeter, 171, and here we can see that 45 millimeter, the beam length. The first six bolts I put in one group. And here, as far as we do not have those joints, we can remove these. And instead, we can bring those bolts in the bottom part. And just solve. Still, our model is linear. And as a result, it doesn't take so much time to calculate the results. Now the results uh, are ready. We can check one by one. Contact tools. Almost the same. A little bit different perhaps. Bending moment 44.4 and rotation 0 0.15. And here is the loads. This is 79 kilonewton and the shear force is 14.6, 79 and 14.6, 77 and the shear force is 5, almost the same. And here we have the actual force which is 2.6 kN 
and the shear force is 6 and here also almost the same now we can compare with our results that we had earlier in the excel sheet now we are going to use beam as bolts the first two uh, 79 times 2 158 almost the same and the shear force here is completely different 15 times 2 30 kilometer and for row number two, the actual force is 77.5, so it will be 155. And the shear force is 5 kN times 2, 10 kN. So this row is for the uh, last part that we had the... Um, S springs and it was zero now I insert another one uh, the load here is 2.6 times 2 minus 5.2 and the shear force is about 6 times 2 is 12 kilometer now here we can see that 12 plus 10 plus 30 is almost 50 kilonewton and as we can see here the rigid joint gives a, a higher value when we are using that way but but the other three seems to be very close if we look at this part and if we look at the shear stiffness joints and tensile spring we can see that the value is zero it doesn't affect that much on the other two calculations so it seems that uh, if we use the beam model then we have a better results also for shear force here we can see that it was 50 then it was minus something and then it was 6 kN but here we can see that more or less it is distributed as we expect uh, 10 and 12 for those beams that are uh, inside the flange and the other one is outside the flange and takes 30 kN so that's how it looks like now we can go back and check our hand calculation for this connection also it's better if we have this uh, bending moment and also rotation so bending moment here is 44.4 and the rotation is 0.15 3 degree and now we can come back to our hand calculation here is the MATCAD code that uh, we wrote earlier and this is for 15 kN per meter and the value of mu should be taken as 1 and here we can see that the moment is 49 kilonewton meter and the rotation is 0 0.165 uh, it's reasonably close enough to uh, just accept the calculation also that's that's pretty close And also here we can check if we want the moment reaction for the top with beam calculation or beam modeling. and the uh, rotation about the axis here we can see that it's 43 and the rotation is 0 
seven almost so it shows that this is weaker in terms of being a stiff compared to the other connection which is in the center or we have a column above if we compare with this one that there is nothing above that so the bottom one has more stiffness that is the end of this video and we learned how to model with the bolts and also it seems that the shear forces are more reasonable in these beam models instead of other options also it is important to know that if you are interested in bolt calculation then you need to model the bolt separately and then import it for the calculation it might be more time consuming but this is just only for those who are uh, checking the connection and then design the bolt separately uh, for the bolt calculation but if you are studying or researching on the bolt connection then you need to model bolt accurately and import it for the calculation of the connection in the next video i will go through non-linear model of the same connection and we will calculate uh, the maximum capacity of our rigid connection and we will compare it with our calculation by hand thank you for watching see you next time bye